And we are underway at the Trop. This is the moment Blue Jays fans have been waiting for for months. Super happy to be here. Fans filled a small Toronto patio to take in opening night at a pub right by the Rogers Center where the Jays typically play. But this season is anything but typical. Oh, that one's ripped. Until this morning, the Jays didn't have a home. The federal government rejected the club's plan to play in Toronto, citing concerns over players traveling back and forth to the U.S. Today, a solution. For 2020, home will be Buffalo's Salient Field. It's where their AAA affiliate plays, a minor league field that'll need some quick major league upgrades. But even then, it will be an adjustment for players. There's certainly a, a level of disappointment, I think, for everybody. It's going to be uh, a, a totally different environment for these guys to play in. And Major League Baseball is trying to get creative with a few different things with that. They're, they're piping in crowd noise. That fake crowd noise is because fans aren't allowed in stadiums at all. So some are getting creative when it comes to ways to bring the stadium experience home. Like delivering game day hot dogs to fans. What, what's better than a than a hot dog in a ball game? A pair of fans from London, Ontario, even wrote this song to rally fans. It's being played on radio stations across the country tonight. Um, I guess it's just a bit of a reminder about uh, you know what the game is all about. They can get that that good feeling uh, without the game. It's all building momentum. It's very strange to know that there won't be a game on Canadian soil since, you know, the Jays started in 1977. At the same time, I kind of like the underdog mentality, uh, whether the team becomes the road warriors. Biggio hammers one right field, down the line, it is gone. Whether the road warriors can become road champions, we'll see soon. The usual 162-game season is just 60 this year. Farah Morali, CBC News, Toronto.